I drew a little something f for you. Oh. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir David, and a little while ago I played a game called Colors of Meaning. Let's see how you talk when you're strapped to the bed. Boy, that escalated quickly. I just said I didn't like the cocktail. But now I want to play the follow-up game to that game called Faded Colors. Why does this place look so familiar? Like I've been here. Hmm. You looked up and you saw a boy by a tree. You decide to approach. Because in this darkness, you're unlikely to meet anyone else. Hmm. Oh, is that little Liam? Who has hurt you, Liam? What misfortune has befallen you? Ah. Uh, uh. You saw a boy who, for some reason, was familiar to you. Again, as this place. You saw his crying face. Did something wrong happen to him? Hey! Why are you crying? Is something wrong? Did someone hurt you? Where are they? <clears throat> I... I... Hush. You don't have to be afraid of me. I won't hurt you. Are you sure? Everyone who sees me, it's like they want to hurt me. No, no, no. I won't do anything bad. What's your problem? I ran away from home. I don't want to be there. Never. My mom died, and even living at a friend's house, it's too bad. Mm. After talking to the boy, you didn't want to leave him. He was so weak. Who's going to help him if not you? Don't worry, baby. I will protect you. Hey, what's your name? Liam. My name is Liam. That's a beautiful name. Do you really think so? Of course. It is a very beautiful name. He finally smiled. Oh. He even seems glad to hear it. Thank you. No one has ever said that to me. Why do people not like you, Liam? Why was your father burnt? Oh, Lee. He's still smiling. Hey, you want to come over? We can hang out at my house to have tea there. Will you do it? <sighs> ah! It's one thing if a tall, creepy guy comes up to you and says, Hey, you don't know me, but you want to come to a, to a restaurant with me? And like, no, no, but gosh darn, a sad little kid comes up to you crying and he says, Will you come to his house? Fine, against my better judgment, let's go. Only because I have immense empathy. Of course, Lee. Let's go. Yay! Aww. Is that a barracuda? Is that Freddy Five Bear? I think there's an aquarium in this house, and a pretty big one at that. Pretty cozy. Here we are, at home. You can go to my room on the left for now. I'll take everything. He said again. Okay, I'll try to fix that. I will protect your smile in this brief moment. After looking around, you went to his room. Hmm? What's that painting? And why is it covered in paint? Ah, okay. Maybe just didn't like the photo or something. You sat down on the bed and started looking around. It was pretty cozy in here, but you could see the cracks in the wall. You didn't pay much attention to them. Hey. What's the matter, baby? Cool. Baby, do you need a hug? What has befallen you, baby? I brought paper and pencils. Would you mind drawing with me? Oh, well... Let's give Lee a try. Hmm, drawing with the baby boy. You started drawing with Liam. You drew different things, nature, flowers, and more. After a while, Liam touched you with trembling hands. Hmm, I, 
I drew a little something f for you. Just please, don't criticize too much. Oh, Lee, that's very sweet. I like your drawing. Really? Uh, I thought you were going to laugh just as hard. Like my friend's parents. They had a long laugh when I drew us all together. Well, then they're possibly bad people. They took me in as a family. But in the end, I'm just as much of a stranger. Mm. And my friend keeps taking away things that are important to me. <gasps> he accidentally ripped a picture of me with my real family. Or rather, when my dad was alive. Was it the dude with the pointy ears? I may have to have a word with him. I cried, and then they said it was nothing. Do you get that a lot around here? I don't think it's a good idea to bully a child. Or something. You heard someone's footsteps. I wonder who it could be. I think it's a friend of mine. You'll see him. Although, I don't want to. Hey you, listen here. Wow, Liam has a new friend? I'm surprised I haven't seen you here before. Yeah, you could say that. I'm kind of just a stranger that found him in the park at night. What's your name? Desimus. Desimus, did you rip up my boy's photo? That wasn't very cash money of you. Nice to meet you. <sighs> hey, Lee. Mm -mm. Hey! Let me show you our house. Now hold on, Des. You hold on a second. What about Lee? He's gonna be okay. Let's go. Hey now. Aww. D -d 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 Liam. I came here for the sad baby boy, and I'm gonna stay with the sad baby boy and maybe call Child Protective Services. I'm sorry, but I want to stay with Liam. M me? Do you want to stay with me? Yeah, Lee. I want to stay here with you. You seem to be as boring as Liam. Good luck with that. <laughs> what's with your... What's, what's, what's your deal, Des? I can't believe that you chose me. Before, if they had that choice, they obviously wouldn't have chosen me. Lee... Liam started to cry. Oh, baby boy. He held his hands to calm him down a little. Oh, protect his smile. I'm so happy you stayed with me. Maybe it doesn't matter to you, but I'm so glad. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh, now I have to do it again and make the baby boy sad. Alright, what, what happens if I pick Desmus? Listen here, you. I'm glad you made the right choice. He's very boring. He doesn't even have anything to talk about. Just about the drawings. I'm more than sure he won't get anywhere in the future. Des. Is he supposed to be your friend? What the heck, Des? Why would you say that? He's your friend. Yeah, and he's funny. If you felt that way, you wouldn't have picked me. I'm just doing this for the for the completionist. Hmm. Here's my room. You look around while I go get us some lemonade. I don't treat anybody who trusts who treats their friends like that. I did the wrong thing with Liam. I hope he's not offended with me. Poor baby. Oh. Time passed, but Des never returned. Uh-oh. You stood, sat, and waited for it for a long time, but finally decided to check it out. Oh, I only did it for the Graham baby boy. I wanted to stay with you first. Huh? Are you looking for Desimus? He'll be here soon. Don't worry. Liam, we need to talk. About how pathetic I am? I heard your conversation. Don't. Lee, you're wrong. You're not pathetic. 
I'm glad. Lee, listen to me. You are the sweetest. Don't think anything bad of yourself. What they tell you is nothing. Believe in yourself. So, thank you so much. I'm glad you don't think badly of me. <sighs> oh. You put your arms around him, pulling him close to you. Is this why Liam is so attached to you in the future? Did I, like, step into a time warp and make him fall in love with me? He snuggles up to you and closes his eyes. All is well, as planned. Hmm? What do you mean by that? What if I say no in the beginning to coming over with him? I'm sorry, baby boy, that's just, that's just too invasive. Like, what if your parents get here and there's a strange woman in your house? I'd go to jail. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Well, then, okay. <clears throat> um, bye? He's gone. Minutes go by, and it never leaves you that you know this place, and this boy, too. Like, have you been here? This is bullcrap. Deciding to take a break from such thoughts, you went for a walk somewhere, maybe to a cafe. As you walked along, you pondered the same. Cute. On your way out, you decided to stop at the store to buy yourself a drink. Looking around the shelves, you wondered what to get. Boo! Ah! Boom! Just flip an archangel out of nowhere. Okay. I don't know the rules of this world, but gosh darn Michael coming down to say hi. It's time to go to heaven, my child. Oh my god! Are you sick? Why are you scaring me like this? Who would have thought I could scare you? Mm. Looking for something to eat? And you don't care what happens to that boy, you. Wait, where are you from? Se Sabaoth? Sabaoth. My name is Sabaoth. Nice to meet you. He's got kitty ears. Or maybe that's just his hair. And your question is, how do I know? Oh, well, I know a lot of things. What do you eat when you go to bed? And much more. Gosh darn it. Have I got another stalker in this game? What's up with the child? Is the child going to be okay? What do you want from me? I just came in here for some Chip and Dale. How could I help that boy? I don't even know him. You know... You just don't remember it. I'm just giving you a choice. Either you go and help, or... Or what? You'll find out. Okay. Okay. Eh. Why do these look all... Oh, Lacey. He <laughs> he Um. No, no, what if I don't help? Listen, a strange adult woman seen with a kid that isn't hers coming into his house, I'm gonna be put in cuffs. Sabaoth? 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 Well, you, yourself, you've decided your own fate. <laughs> Have I? Listen, dude. You don't think that's weird? Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you the one doing the shenanigans? Are you are you protecting? Wait a minute. They said that Liam's father was burnt and that he's not liked. So was Sabaoth like his dad and he's become his guardian angel and he does the shenanigans when Liam doesn't make friends? But that's just a theory. Okay. Let's do the thing that I actually do want to do and help the poor lad out. Ah! Okay, okay. If you want it so badly. I don't know what you're so worried about. Don't be stupid. You'll see for yourself. I'll ask just one question before I do. When will I remember everything? 
It's the first time I've seen such impatient people. I don't know how to say this, but, um... The memory will come back when you wake up. What? Wake up? Oh, am I, am I having dreams about the baby boy? Ah. Oh. I'm a standing NPC to give you dialogue? Just go. I'm afraid while you're thinking here, you'll discover two Americas. <laughs> okay, bye, Sabaoth. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? See, uh, you. Mm -mm. All right, where's the baby boy? Is the baby safe? You came to the same park. Just when the sun appeared, it got light. You looked around for the boy. You were looking for him, but then you saw something behind a tree. Is that him? You ran up to the tree and looked. You looked around for the boy. Oh, and there he is, right in front of you. You were glad he was here, checking his pulse, realizing he was alive. You looked at him and held your breath. Some kind of shiver ran through your body. Hmm... The realization that your head is spinning, and my eyes have got no... Nothing. Uh. You're losing consciousness. Oh no! Ah! 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 Hey, honey. Don't you honey me! Wake up! Wake up! Is everything all right? I hope you didn't hurt yourself. L Liam? Yep. You fell so sharply. I was scared. Remind me, why are we here? We wanted to have a pajama party, and we wanted to buy cereal. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ah, there they are. Are you sure you're okay? I'm worried. Liam, it's okay. Don't worry about me. Are you rewriting my memories? If I feel bad, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm worried. Mm. Ah, can't wait to see me in costume at home, huh? Let's see if I do better. I'm sure it's sweet. We're just going on like a happy little couple. Everything always looks good on you. Lee. Oh, come on. <laughs> Lee! Saba! What's going on here? I feel like I'm being pulled in three different directions. Well, I think that's all I can do. And I thought there would be more answers, but I'm left with more questions. My theory is that the big angel dude is protecting Liam, and he's the one doing the shenanigans when Liam doesn't get his way. But what we can tell is that Liam is a sweet baby who had a bad childhood and needs protecting of his smile. Now, was there something in between and we actually did start dating Liam or something? Or is this all a manipulation? Because Liam's name was all glitchy. Were we still in the dream? What part was reality? Why was Dez being such a butthole to his friend? These questions and more may be answered, I don't really know. But there will be a link in the description to this developer if you would like to follow them for some more development. And anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope.